Okay guys, so I'm making another video about homemade airsoft guns. This one is a very, very simple, not nearly as good as my last one, but it's pretty decent, it works alright, it's like a submachine gun, and you have to pump it up, so it's not, it's not, like, you don't rack it, you don't just hold down the trigger, you actually have to do something, so, this is it. So, this is the barrel super simple it's really ugly i know but so usually the way that this works is there's a magazine that slides out this is the i think the mag strike says it right here this is like a somewhere between somewhere between 10 and 25 dollars for a nerf gun um how this works is this barrel goes into this film canister i'm gonna take off the lid of the film canister so as you can see, it's hollow, two holes in the back, because there's holes in this little piece that's like sticking up, there's like an orange piece, so I hot glued this on here, made a seal around it, popped two holes so that the air can flow through into this, and there's a safety inside of, like, in there, right through in there, inside of that, so what I did is I hot glued it down so that the trigger actually goes down, you have to wiggle it side to side, like this way. So you go like that, and then every now and then it'll go, but this is a really bad, bad mod. It's just, if you really want the fast, you see, it pops, it tri that's the trigger shooting. But other than that, that's pretty much all it is, but you fill this tank up with BBs. This is the lid, there's a hole through it, hot glued a big seal on it, and then now the barrel slide through the lid. When the air flows through this... One, after you pumped it up, the air flows through into this, it picks up the BBs through the air current, and it pulls them up into this hole because it's the only exit, and it shoots them at the end. And you can just hit the trigger and then hit it again and hit it again, or you could just hold down on it or just tap, 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 or not hit it at all, it's up to you, but it's the way this gun is, has a very short range, but it's just made to, like, just spray bullets. So if you aimed, like, right at somebody, you don't want to do this to try to hit them because it already pretty much does that for you. But it works really good. And um, so all you do is you fill this up with bullets. You put this piece on here like this. And once you get this set here, then you just pop the lid down like how you would on like a, like a regular film canister. And once it's on, like that, then all you have to do is just pump it up, shoot, and you very rarely have to reload. It shoots, I think, about 10 bullets a pump, roughly, but it gets less and less as you run out of ammo, and the more you've shot, it gets less and less and less. This is a very simple mod. Um, if you guys want to know tutorials on it, I might just take apart the thing, like take off the mod I made and redo it. Same with that other nerf gun I did for the last video. How this works is... You know, I already said it, but just so you guys can, you know, understand it better. There is a, like, a orange disc, and it's like a button. If you push it, it goes in. There's a spring behind it. But all you have to do is hot glue the back side of the film canister in onto the edge of it, but make sure you don't put hot glue in the holes on the, on the metal, like, on the orange button piece. And then you pop two holes in the back of the film canister where those holes are on the orange button, then on the lid, you pop a hole right in the center, you slide the barrel in, hot glue that, and then you're done. That's the whole mod. It's it takes you if you have like already like a if you already have all the stuff like a pen tube and a film canister and a hot glue gun, it'll take you maybe ten minutes at the max to do this. So you can have a really fast, easily made um, Nerf gun. And I missed one important part with what I just said. There is an orange safety. You can't really see it very well, but it's right in there. Right in there. You might be able to see it a little bit. Yeah, now you can kind of see it. It's, it's right there. That's the orange safety I've been talking about. You have to push that back with like a pencil and hot glue it down, and then once it drives, you, you can remove the pencil. All that's doing is it's keeping this so that you can hit the trigger whenever you want. That, that safety is used for when the mag is in, because the mag's not there. You can't do that. So, that's the whole mod. It's so simple. Like, you just pump this up. 
when you and it fires. It's so simple. And it it's not it shoots fast. It's very, very fast shooting. I mean, there's not really much more to it. It's not an accurate gun at all. It doesn't have any range. It's it's pretty much for like a secondary gun. Like a good primary gun with the last nerf gun I made for that one video. This would be a good secondary. It's a little bit bulky, but if you could figure out a way guys in like a to have this tank be bigger or maybe have like a backpack hooked to a hose so like the inside of the backpack is like a big air tank that you've made like out of like water bottles or something and have like a like um, a tube going straight to this so that you can just keep on shooting out of this please tell me in like a comment or like make a link in a comment to a video you've made about this and that'd be awesome and if you wanted to I could feature it in one of my videos and give you all the credit for it because it's your idea and I'll actually add it to my own gun and I'll use it in my airsoft battles because this is alright it's not really to what I my, my standards of what I like to use because it's too big for its capability of how it shoots so that's all for this video um, my next video I'm planning on making a video about uh, a homemade penny board I made like that first longboard video except this one's actually really good and it has good quality, 